Hi and welcome to Reseller News. My name is Rich Bassini. Today is August 20th, 2019. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers or recent subscribers to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you like the content and you come back for more. I got some windows open up, so without further ado, let's jump right to it. Okay, before we get started, I just want to you know, share this information with the new uh, subscribers. I do not read everything verbatim on these websites. What I will do is give you the URL and uh, the rest is up to you if you like to pick up where I left off. This first story is uh, from Skip McGrath and his, his website is www.skipmcgrath.com. Now, if you are an Amazon seller, you might want to, you might want to sign up with Skip McGrath's uh, website to get some information. He'll send it to you via by email. As you can see, it's got tips, tools, information, resources for the beginning and professional Amazon sellers. Uh, this story here, we're going to talk for all intents and purposes, we're going to talk about the simple hacks to boost your eBay profits. This story came out August 12, 2019. <clears throat> um, I'm not going to read too, too much into this. I'm going to just read a little, and I'm going to give you the highlights here, and then the rest is up to you if you'd like to come back and pick up where I left off. It says, as an eBay seller, you want to maximize the amount of money you make, to state the obvious. There are two basic ways you could do that. First, you could sell a higher volume of products at a lower profit margin. More volume equals more total profits, and so on. The other method is to increase your overall profit margins on the items you sell. With the higher profit margins, you can you can rake in more money per sale than you would otherwise, increasing your overall profits. In this article, we're going to we're going to focus on the second method for making more money on eBay. Here are nine hacks that will help you instantly boost your overall eBay profits. Hack number one. Source your items with discounted gift cards. Okay, and then it goes on to say normally you would uh, source your items you sell on eBay using a debit or credit card, but there is a cheaper, more effect, cost effective way to source your items, which then allows you to reap higher profit margins. Now, I never dealt anything with uh, using gift cards to, uh, you know, for sourcing items, whatever. Uh, it may be a good thing. I never did it. <laughs> I use my debit card when I go to the thrift stores. Basically, I buy a lot of my merchandise from thrift stores, so I have a business debit card, and that's where I do my purchasing. But um, anyway, with this one here is using a website like uh, to raise or cash or card cash, you could purchase gift cards at a discount. For example, you would be able to purchase a hundred dollar Amazon gift card, eighty dollars or Wayfair, and so on and so forth. But let's just skip over that there, okay? You could, like I said again, this yeah, this is this information I'm posting out to you guys. If you are an Amazon seller, uh, you know, you might want to check into this as well. I know this, this story is particularly dealing with eBay, as you can see here. It's an eBay story, but uh, hey, why not? I'm sure it'll work for both. Hack number two: leverage credit card points when buying from a supplier. It goes on to say when you're going when you're going about your daily purchases, use a credit card that gives you points for every purchase. If you're using a credit card consistently, these points will pile up relatively quick, and these points can often uh, can often be used to purchase things like gift cards. Again, you know this is totally up to you, folks. If you uh, if you want to do this here, uh, like I said, I me personally, when I make all my purchases at my local thrift store, um, I just basically use my company my you know credit card uh, debit card, not credit card debit card. <laughs> Uh, here's another one over here, hack number three, use a repricing tool. A repricing tool like Reprice Express or the ones included like drop shipping automation software automatically and set up to adjust your prices of your eBay listings based on the set of the criteria you provided. Okay, again, let's go to the next one here. Hack number four, avoid scans by blocking sp uh, specific buyers. A uh, few things you mo uh, mo are more frustrating than getting scanned by as a buyer you send in the product and then there's usually with that with an issue with the payment the more you try to get the money and the more you realize that you're never going to get it it's a terrible feeling thank god it's been on ebay for 20 years i haven't experienced anything like that i hope i never do <laughs> anyway it goes on to say the good news is that you can prevent specific users and entire regions and even entire regions from purchasing from you for example if you know the user or of someone who scammed you, you can block them from buying from you again, assuming you're already reported them to eBay, etc. You know, the only thing is about this we are blocking specific buyers. I heard when people block them, they open up other accounts and they, they can make purchases through that way. Now, I don't know how it, you know, that's all true or not, but I've been hearing stories like that. Uh, 
you know, if you guys want to share stuff like that, please do. I'm just curious to know if that, because I heard if you block a buyer and they really want something from you, they just open up another account and they'll buy it from you, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, you know, it's, it's, a, little, it's a little slippery slope there, so to speak, but this is what I was heard, this is what I heard, and this is what I was told by some other people as well. But anyway, um, if you want to find out about blocking, you could just click over here. Now, here's the thing. Uh, the reason why I always give you URLs, folks, is in most cases, a lot of these websites are going to have active hyperlinks. So you're going to have to, you know, log on to the sites. Uh, like I said, I could scroll down here. And if you want, you could always pause the video and just read a little about it if you, you know, if you choose to not go to the website itself. But I highly recommend you do go to the website because there are good information out there. In some cases, uh, you're going to need to uh, log into that site to actually, you know, actually uh, see the active hyperlink. Now this one here is an active hyperlink, how to block a buyer on eBay. So you would click that on. I'm not going to get too much because you can see up here, I've got a lot of windows open up here. Um, that'll take you and that'll, that'll give you instructions on how to do it. Another one here uh, is hack five, purchase more profitable items. The simple truth is that some of the um, some of the items are inherently more profitable than others, which is true. You know, I could honestly attest to that. Maybe they're rarer. Maybe there's a random surge in demand thanks uh, thanks to the Fed. You know, fidget spinners, anyone? Here, <laughs> I remember those, they're coming out. Uh, whatever the case is, whatever the case, your goal should be to sell the most profitable items out there. That's, that's a no-brainer, folks. Uh, but how can you find these profitable items? One simple way is using a market research tool such as Zik Analytics. Using a tool like this, you can analyze your competitors to see what they're selling. Get eBay sales data on the item and the best-selling items in the category and much more. Now, I'm not familiar with this uh, tool here, uh, Zik Analytics. I'm not familiar with it, but it's something to look into it, being I am an eBay seller myself. So uh, I might want to check into that as well. And again, here's another active hyperlink. Okay, uh, if you click it on, it'll probably take you to this uh, Zik uh, Analytics. Okay, and then again, lastly, it says stack those profits. It is true that some of these hacks are now may only save you a dollar or two per item, but it's important to remember that when it comes to making profits on eBay, it's it's about stacking up the small gains on top of each other. Uh, and then just we'll read a little more into this here. It says you may save all you you may only say one dollar per item but if you sell a hundred items that's a hundred dollars you've saved multiply that over the months and years and you could get generate significantly more profit than you than you would otherwise so don't wait any longer get out there start stacking your uh, those profits on the top of each other okay now again uh, I gave you URL for this here if you want to post a comment I think you're gonna have to sign on there your email address will be not be published but if you want to comment on this here just like uh, on the uh, next sites are going to be giving you on e-commerce by it's the same thing all right and uh, you know if you want to comment on it that's good again uh, if you want to go to the website if you don't if you do it's uh, skip McGriff it's www.skipmcgriff.com okay let's move right along here let's uh, close this one out now the next windows are going to be all from e-commerce by it's so I'm not going to keep constantly repeating the same URL and the same uh, the same information you know the place where I got the information from so let me give you URL it's www.ecommercebytes.com. Our first story just came out August 18, 2019. Will eBay protect sellers from costly chargeback? Okay. It goes on to say here, as, as eBay takes over the pay, uh, payment processing from PayPal, sellers have many questions. On Wednesday, a seller who already enrolled in a program expressed concern about how well eBay would protect the sellers from unwarranted chargebacks. The seller explained that eBay showed a reason for a chargeback he received from one of his buyers and ambiguous as he noticed another seller on the managed payment, uh, payments board also reported receiving a chargeback with ambiguous as a reason. <laughs> okay. Uh, it goes on to say the buyer opened the chargeback using the transaction and uh, was ambiguous reason according to the seller who wrote but never had opened up a return request. Buyer never contacted me. eBay sent me a message saying eBay would handle it for me. Now, I am not, uh, I didn't opt into the managed payment service with them with their payment processing thing. I don't know if you guys have. If you have, if you used it, if you are using it or plan to use it, let us know. Drop it in the comment below. I'd like to hear what you have to say about it. But um, <clears throat> this is what they're referring to right here. So it is what it is, folks. Again, uh, you, I don't, I don't think, let me give you a URL just in case I didn't. It's www. 
dot ecommerce bytes one word dot com i don't know if i did or not folks i'm, I'm trying to i'm looking ahead as, as i'm as i'm talking to you guys i'll go to the other windows up there i want to make sure i got all the right windows set up in space here um okay so yeah if you want to go to the website and you want to read more into this here please do again i do highly recommend that you do go to the website itself instead of uh reading it off my off the video because like i said again see all the words in blue here these are all active hyperlinks okay and uh, in order for you to read these here, you're going to have to go to the website. Now, the rest here on the bottom here are the uh, reader's comments. Uh, you could read them. They're really good. Sometimes you get good information from them. Sometimes they point out things, like I said, my other videos that I wasn't aware of. So you may want to check into it uh, right, and read it. They, they, get, they give you some good advice, okay? These are probably seasoned sellers and, you know, they've been around. And like I said, myself, even though I've been on eBay for 20 years, um, I don't always experience the same things like when I read about these stories here I don't always experience the same issues that these particular buyers are, are having you know so uh, maybe you may you could re probably relate to it maybe you can maybe you can't I don't know but uh, I'm just gonna scroll down here in case you don't want to go to the website you want to just pause the video you could read it like that I definitely like reading the comments though I always like to see the feedback what other people other buyers and sellers are saying you know uh, and let's see here to a guy yeah he's been around well a lot of these people here who um do do uh leave comments on this, this particular website you will see them from time to time there's quite a bit it got three pages here so <laughs> there must be a lot going on with this here i like to read all that myself but uh, i can't do it right now okay next one online sellers push to make amazon more accountable okay it's an amazon story there's a movement to band online sellers together to make Amazon more accountable. In order to gain a hold of their businesses, Amazon sellers have been organizing to communicate their needs to the Department of Justice and the Federal Trade Commission. Uh, Business Insider reported both bodies have launched antitrust probes into Amazon this summer. The publication spoke to Scott Needman, online merchant by Boxer, who explained sellers' concerns. goes on to say here, uh, one common concern is that Amazon has access to third-party merchant sales data, which may allow them to unfairly compete by identifying the best-selling products and create its own branded versions and offer them for sale at a lower price with greater visibility. Of course, it's their website. They can afford to do that, private labeling and stuff like that. I'm going to talk about that at the end of this uh, video here, so if you guys could stick around. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm not again, I'm not going to read too much into it. I will scroll down. Okay, uh, it says this, uh, the article is also available in businessinsider.com. Here's an active hyperlink I was talking about. Again, like I said, if you want to uh, activate those active hyperlinks, you're going to have to sign on to the site. And again, here we got some more comments. I love reading the comments. All right, but I'm scrolling down here just as a courtesy so you guys, if you don't want to go to the website, you could just pause the video. I'm not going to keep repeating that over and over as well either. <laughs> All right, let's move right along, folks. Next one. This one came out August 18th, 2019. Former eBay seller and other ven venues to explore. Uh, this person wrote into Ina Steiner. For those who don't know, Ina Steiner is the owner of e-commerce bytes. Uh, goes on to say, Dear Ina, Google business pages allows you to list the products with info, prices, and photos for sale. As it does, Bing for Business. And images are searchable with a lot of people would rather use search item for search items. The pick as a dollar sign on them and a link back to the vendor <clears throat> i have not figured out how successful this may this is but maybe you can i stopped using ebay even though i still have an active uh, i still have an account that's set for weird items <laughs> items i know would sell better than any uh, than on my own website uh by the time i pay for the listing fee see, listing and sales fees including shipping and paypal i wonder if it's worth as ever and it says there are no fees to list on google and bing now that's a great deal, Diane. Now, I think I talked about this in one of my other videos about Google Store, a business store. Uh, I'm not familiar about Bing, but uh, according to this here, this is something that's enlightening me because I didn't know about Bing. I know about Google. Like, okay, it says over here there are no there are no fees to list on Google and Bing. And that's a great deal. Yeah, I, I'm not familiar with uh, with Bing, but I'm going to look into it because I know with Google they have a store where you could uh, showcase your products. Okay, um, you know, I don't. Know, I think I did a video on it. You have to check it out. If not, I could probably you know do a remake of it and show you what I'm referring to. Uh, but right now, for all intents and purposes, I want to just keep moving along. I'm going to scroll down again. 
so you guys can uh, check out some of the stuff here but always keep in mind you're not going to be use the active hyperlink feature by just checking out the video <laughs> all right these people though these uh, buyers and sellers that put information on here um, they really do put out some good information I'll be honest with you I, I really I really like reading the comments and they got two pages of comments here uh, I'm not gonna go to that there if you want to read those folks you know you know the deal all right let's go right along here okay eBay, this came out uh, August 16th, 2019. eBay sets up pressure on sellers to join managed payments. All right, another letter to Dia Ina. eBay sent a letter practically demanding I joined managed payments. Dear seller, our records indicate you have previously invited to managed payments. eBay simplified seller experience to sell and get paid. Based on our review, your account the features and the tools you use on eBay are fully compatible with managed payments. To benefit from the new payments experience early, register at the eBay.com forward slash payment registration. All eBay sellers will progressively be required to transition to the managed payments in the coming months. Yowza! I'm not going to like that. But then again, reading a little more into this, says managed payments offers more ways for buyers to pay with credit. Debit, gift cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, PayPal, and PayPal Credit. Payouts will automatically deposit to your banking account. Sellers receive con uh, consolidated reports, simplified seller protections one the monthly, uh, on one monthly bill uh, for all fees and access to dedicated customer support. New features include a single unique number for order initiation to pay out and the ability to issue partial or full refunds to the buyers directly on eBay or via third-party platform. Sellers have already joined uh, re report high satisfaction and recommend managed payments to other sellers. To learn more about the managed payments, visit ebay.com forward slash payments. Um, you guys are using it. Again, please drop it in the box, in the comment box, and let us know, you know, what you think. Uh, I'm not into it. I didn't opt into it. Um, I love PayPal. I'm I want to use PayPal as long as I can. So um, if you guys are using it and you like it, please share it with us. I'm just curious to hear what you have to say. All right. <clears throat> this story is from the United States Postal Service. Uh, this story came out August 18th. It says USPS tells small biz owners to meet with local postmasters. Uh, it says USPS is uh, urging small businesses to connect with their local with their local postmasters to get help in growing their businesses. Okay, now this is something new. I don't remember hearing this, but that's why, like I said, that's why I love the reseller news, and that's why I like sharing information. I want to get it out there to you guys. That's why I do this here. I take the time and initiative to go through and scope the information that I think is going to be helpful to you guys, and uh, I will put it up on YouTube channel and on the reseller news. But anyway, reading a little more, it says, During the month of August, we are focused on connecting our postmasters with the local businesses. The, organizations exp the organization explained in a recent blog post, you may be pleasantly surprised with the options to help you improve the bottom line by lowering your shipping costs and gaining valuable new business and additional customers. Now, you can read more into this here, okay? Um, like I said again, I'm not going to get into it. Uh, you could, like I said, you know, it's not really much. It doesn't look like there's much to read. It looks like you got some more comments here than, than the actual story. <laughs> All right. So, uh yeah, you can check it out. Some people write a lot. And the reason why I don't read all these things, folks, verbatim, because the, the reseller news will go on for hour, an hour, two hours, and I don't need, I don't want to bore, I don't want to bore you people with that much, uh, you know, information out there. I mean, there's enough as it is. But you know the story, you know the, the URL to check it out. Let's move right along. <clears throat> Here's one. UPS invests in Amazon-powered self-driving trucks hauling UPS, USPS mail. Wow. Uh, I don't know about that. But anyway, August 18, 2019, this story was posted. It says, remember when we were told in May that the U.S. Postal Service was testing driverless trucks? <laughs> I'm not too crazy about driverless trucks. Uh, to cut mail between Arizona and Texas, U U UPS is investing in their company as providing the vehicles in USPS test called Too Simple and a global self-driving truck company. 
<clears throat> could you imagine driving on the freeway or the highway or whatever or the expressway and you're driving next to a truck a ups truck there and uh, <clears throat> you look over you don't see a driver in there that's pretty scary i mean I, i'm sure they might have it like that i'm sure there is a driving it just to override maybe if the system's malfunction i'm sure they would have a driver in there uh but i'm just saying could you imagine that though that's that's kind of scary <laughs> you know to have a thing like that what are they gonna have next uh autonomous airplanes you go into a plane and you know yeah anything's possible but anyway um you can read more into this here <clears throat> yeah i'm not gonna i'm not i, I don't know how this is gonna work folks but uh look at all this there's a lot of text here again uh you're gonna read the um couple of comments not many all right <clears throat> so if you want to check into this if you are interested in this here you know the website Okay, Amazon announces new type of seller promotion, seven-day deals. Look at that. This one came out August 17, 2019. Amazon announced a new type of promotion available to sellers, seven-day deals. Sellers can now can run limited-time promotional offers up to seven days on Amazon Deals page. Sellers, seven-day deal, seven deals will also receive a limited-time time deal badge in their search results for the increased visibility for the deal as Amazon said, your brand. Uh, sellers must visit the deal de deal details page on the de in the deals dashboard in the seller central to review fees, which includes the base merchandising fee of each deal. Sellers report these fees. Or report those. Yeah, sellers report those fees at one hundred and fifty dollars for lightning deals and three hundred dollars for seven day deals. Okay. Sellers can create both seven-day deals with Lightning Deals and Deals Dashboard. Sellers can, uh, sellers can find out more information on the deals and deal help pages. Okay, <laughs> well, uh, I don't know about that. But, um, let's just read this comment really quick. Uh, maybe eBay isn't to scramble a copy of Amazon. will restart reinstate the seven-day listing variable. Only this time with the fee. <laughs> well, hey, whatever, right? It can happen, so... Anyway, guys, you know that story. Let's move right along. And it's nice to see these windows going down. Alrighty. This one here was posted August 16, 2019. Offer up partners with Goodwill. Happy National Thrift Shop Day. Offer up partnered with Goodwill Thrift Shops and now has over 200 stores across the count, uh, country selling items through Offer Up mobile selling app. Offer up has offered. <coughs> offer up. Wait. Offer up offered up an example on how to store it, uh, store is using its app uh, right in the San Antonio Goodwill that is tons of success with niche marketing and retro video games in the last two months they've sold a cool console bundle like the, below the massive bundle with 45 games 13 systems sold in just nine minutes wow that's pretty good um, then it goes on when first announced the partnerships two months ago offer up Put the number up over 100 Goodwills based in New York, New Jersey, San Francisco, San Mateo, Marion Counties, South Florida, Greater Detroit, San Antonio, and Central Southern Indiana. Goodwills are posting gently used items such as furniture, clothing, collectibles, home decor, home electronics, jewelry, video games, and more. Saturday is National Thrift Shop Day. Happy shopping. Okay. And uh, here are some comments on it. And if you want... Oh, remember one thing: if you want to, if you want to leave a reply, you must be logged in to post a comment. Just to keep that in mind, okay? All right, moving right along. It's so nice to see the windows going down. <laughs> uh, here's another UPS story. I should have moved them together. I'm sorry about that, folks. My fault. UPS weighs residential surcharge during 2019 holidays. This came out August 16, 2019. Find there's some good news for online sellers on shipping costs uh, front. UPS announced uh, today that it will, re it will waive residential surcharges during the 2019 holiday shopping season. Those surcharges are not insignificant, and today's announcement spells good news for merchants who feel pressured to offer free shipping. A better term is shipping included. All right, so let's see a little more into here. You can read the press release. Again, I'm not going to read too much into this here. That's why I got it up. You could always, like I said again, you could always pause the video and, you know, check out the comments if you get a chance. 
All right. And the last two windows are from the same company, from Econs Bytes. And when you go to Econs Bytes Classified, I just, that was a sample page. I just wanted to see it. Like, for example, if you were interested in Apple iPad 2, I have the older one, but if you were interested in this one here, you would click on this active hyperlink. And when you click it on, it's going to take you to this here, automated searches. Okay. Now, you can sign up for here. Okay. It says create new automated search, Apple iPad, whatever. You could have these searches and they'll be emailed to you, uh, I believe, on a daily basis. But when you scroll down here, it shows you the prices, which is nice right you now uh, with, with the automated searches right here. Okay. Get the best deals on eBay with free eBay email and text alerts. Really good program. I have it. I use it. Uh, well, I mean, I use it for research. I mean, like I said, for those who are new and you don't really know too much about me, I basically am a seller on eBay. I really buy very little. Uh, the only thing I do buy on eBay, if I do buy, is basically ink and toner cartridges for my printers. That's about it. Um, I don't really need too much stuff. So, uh, I, you know, I buy a necessity. But like, for example, here, there's an Apple iPad 2. Two, three, four, fifth, and sixth. Well, I don't know. This guy's got a lot here anyway. Buy it now for seventy nine dollars. All right. Uh, here's another one here for seventy nine dollars. One year warranty, three day shipping. Uh, this be a looking for this particular thing. I have the older one, you know, but it works for me. You know, it works for me. But here it'll uh, you'll get alerts on this here, and I think if you put in a certain uh, specific item that you're looking for, you will get notified of it from from memory service. Right, that's the way it works too. Uh, you just got to put in there, put the information in, you'll get it. Pretty good prices, though. Yeah, looking at this here. Pretty good prices. All right, I'm not going to take too much of your time again for this here, folks. Check it out. Automated search, all right? Automated searches, all right? And uh, you enter the keywords in there. You could also, do, also include the description as well, okay? And when you put it in there, uh, save this search, and uh, it'll, it's, it's to run every 15 minutes. You could change the uh, time interval for one day, one hour, 15 minutes. I definitely recommend if you're going to um, make any purchases for those, if you're looking for good deals, definitely might want to check it out. So with that, we're going to close this one out. We've got one more to go here. Find rear stamps and collectibles on eBay. Same thing. The same company is going to put it on there. And again, in order to use this here, you're going to have to register on Auction Bytes Classified to set up a classif your classified ad. Okay. Now, as far as I know, I don't think they charge for this here, folks. So this might be something you might want to look up check into and it's the same thing when you click on this here it'll probably bring you to the stamp collection all right now it's asking me to sign in I'm not gonna do it right now but uh, that's basically what it is uh, so you can get that information by going to uh, same site e-commerce bytes classifieds all right and with that I'm going to close out the reseller news well that concludes the reseller news for August 20th 2019 I hope the information was helpful and you got a takeaway from it and if it was Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated as to when I post out new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. Before I end the segment, I just want to go over something really quick. I have a magazine that I usually get, uh, and I just like to share information with you guys. And for those who are new, I just want to say again, thank you for subscribing and giving me the opportunity and the chance to share this information with you. I created this YouTube channel, folks, to help inspire and share information with you guys out there. If you're an e-commerce seller or whatever, whatever platform you're selling on, the reseller news at Let's Talk eBay is basically dealing with everyday things that go on with eBay. If I get information uh, from Google Alerts, I like to share this information with you guys up there just to keep you in the loop, let you know what's going on. You know, as sellers, it's always nice. Information, like they say, information is power or knowledge is power, all those, those different sayings, right? But seriously, um, the reason why I do the reseller news and I do the Let's Talk eBay, it's basically to share good content, good clean content, because this channel, on this channel alone, uh, I do not deal, I do not, I should say, discuss uh, religion and politics, and you'll find no profanity on here, <laughs> no matter what the case may be. Uh, I want to keep it clean and upfront, and up, you know, I want to keep it right on tack on everything. Uh, so that's what the uh, reseller news is all about. And let's talk about eBay is another another segment I put into the mix. It basically will, you know, I will talk about certain issues I have on eBay. If there's something that I had experience with eBay, might be good, bad, or indifferent, I want to share it with the rest of the eBay sellers or the rest of the e-commerce sellers. The reseller news, when it comes to reseller news, it covers all the uh, e-commerce platforms. 
Amazon, eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, Macari, whatever. I get all these different alerts from different sources, and when the information gets handed down to me, I want to pass it out to you guys. And that's why I say it's always important to subscribe to my channel if you want to be updated as to when these new things come out. Changes, transitions, what's going on with an eBay selling platform or whatever it may be. You know, it's always nice to be caught, you know, be in the loop. You know, it's like, you know, you want to know what's going on. I know I do. I am, I'm sure you guys do too. So that's why I can't stress it enough and say, please subscribe because, you know, and also, you know, like, comment, and share. And again, you know, hit that bell notification icon because that's the only way you're going to find out. Now, there may be other times I might be posting stuff up on the fly. You know, I might be doing a news brief or I might do something that might be a little off key. Maybe not dealing with the reseller news or let's talk eBay. It might be something pertains to selling, but on a, maybe a different basis. Like, you know, I might talk about the software I use to create my videos that I do use uh, in regards to, you know, for eBay use, you know. Uh, for example, when I do my demo videos, I might be talking about the software I use to create those demo videos. Uh, but again, it's all it all relates with eBay selling, you know. So that's why I say it's pretty important to you know subscribe. Uh, but anyway, uh, I don't want to get too too much, and I keep talking about that part. There's a magazine I get here, <clears throat> and um, I have to keep it close to the chest because it's going to blend it with my uh, my background. It's called uh, Independent Retailer, okay. And I get these magazines on a monthly basis, and they're really good with good information. You can subscribe to them as well if you choose to do so if not you could always if I get some good information from these uh, magazines I get dealing with internet I also get another one this is uh, internet re independent this is independent retailer then there's another one I got over here called internet retailer <laughs> but uh, I get some good information from there and when I get it uh, and I feel it's viable that's gonna be helpful to you guys I'm gonna put it out there I'm gonna push it right out there to you guys so you know you'll get a you know you'll be in the loop you know you'll know what's going on but anyway um, in the video, I was telling you I want to talk to you about it, something at the end of the at the end of this uh, video here. Uh, I think I, I mentioned, I believe I mentioned about uh, private label, and I just want to read a little into it. Okay, it's uh, well, this here. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to read the whole thing per se, but maybe I'm just going to skip on to this part here. Ah, what the heck? Let me just get this where you get a full just of it. It goes on to say here, uh, private label products are becoming more popular among consumers and Gen Z. According to a study from the Private Label Manufacturing Association, the volume of private labels being sold at mass retailers, club stores, and dollar stores rose 33.2%. Private label, now they're talking, okay? Uh, yeah, rose 33.2% 33 over the past five years, while national brands rose less than 1%. Store brands are proven to be the powerful uh, weapon. Yeah, okay, yes, yeah, so store brands are providing to be a powerful weapon for retailers everywhere. Consumers are no longer sticking to the, the name brands their parents always bought, and instead, they're reaching the, for the products that they feel are better. Amazon's intelligent private label report noted that 51% of the millennials and gener uh, millennials say that they have no preference between national or store brands and half also say that they would uh, they'd buy even more private labels they buy even more private labels if more if there were more to choose from now I'm not gonna get too too much into this here I'm just throwing it out there all right it's gonna, I'm just throwing information out there and this is something you could look into okay I'm not gonna get too much into it um, I'm, I'm, I'm skipping over there's a couple pages I'm skipping over you can do your own research. Just do research on private label. But being I have the magazine, I just let me let me throw it out there. There's a little caption here. It's uh let me just fix it up here so I have to keep it close to the chest here. Okay. I have to do it because it'll blend in with my, my background. I think you guys heard me say it once before. All right. Now I'm just gonna read just the ten things here, and it's called starting a private label and just ten steps. Okay, that's what it is over here. Right here. See? Okay. Now, same magazine, independent independent retailer. Um, starting a private label in just 10 steps. Number one, research your niche market. Okay. Number two, identify products that you think can sell. Yeah, 
identify products that you think you that think you can sell <clears throat> number three scour the internet for potential competitors number four access your ab your ability to cover upfront manufacturing costs number five find a, re a reliable private label manufacturer number six create your brand elements Number seven, order your first batch of product. Number eight, launch your site and or sell on Amazon. Number nine, put the time into marketing your products. And last but not least, number 10, engage with your customers and find ways to improve your next batch of product. Those are the 10 steps to uh, start a private label again not mine that's I'm just reading out of the magazine okay that's that's what they're saying over here now uh, I know of private label I'm sure you guys might have heard of private label uh, you might have heard other people have talked about Amazon FBA and stuff like that to uh, you know create your own private label you know why I got your attention I just want to share one thing another thing with you guys if, if you don't mind just sticking around here I got I got papers over here um uh, you ever get advertisements where people are talking about starting an FBA business? Well, I went through one of those webinars. And, you know, the only thing I will say, I'm not mentioning names, and I'm not making any derogative statements towards anybody or anything in particular. I'm not putting this, this I am not here to, you know, make any, 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 I'm not here to bash anybody's company or business. We're all in this here to make money. And we all want to succeed. And I know I do. And I hope you guys do too. And that's why doing the reseller news, I hope this little information I put out there is somewhat helpful to you. Now, I know people probably say, well, maybe you might want more a definitive information that maybe, you know, to help you boost sales. Like that. Look, I'm in the same boat you guys are. I want to create sales. I want to, you know, I want to make this business work just like you guys do. And I do my best. I do the research. I've shared a lot of information with you guys, and I'm going to keep on sharing information. I don't, I don't have a book to sell you. I don't have a dream to sell you. Any information I post out there, folks, is free, and I mean free. Now, um, I printed out some sheets, and I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to, not going. I don't want to give it away to by telling you the company. But I went to a webinar. I signed up for a webinar. And I like how it always starts off. It's a free webinar to sign up. And at the end of the webinar, there's also a price tag attached to it. But anyway, I'm not here. I'm not going to mention names. I'm not going to give it away. But I printed out these sheets here for the simple reason is if you do your own research, you can get the same get, you can get the same information basically it just takes time now I'm gonna give you an example and you do what you you whatever takeaway you get from it is what you get from or you get you get away from you know, you get a takeaway from it okay now again I'm not gonna mention the company's name but for example uh, the person will talk about shipping and negotiating blueprints now, and product research strategies. Here's the things that they're going to give you within these courses here, okay? I'm just going to go over real quick. I'm not going to, I don't want to say too much. I want to give too much of it away. I got my reasons for it. And like I said, again, I'm not here to make any bad things about anybody in particular. I'm just trying to help you guys save money. Uh, this program here at the, end of the, at the end of the webinar, if you're going to get involved with this webinar, it's going to cost you over $2,000. Some people don't have two thousand dollars to invest in, and it's not you know. And who's to say it's guaranteed you're going to get it? And they'll even tell you in a webinar we can't basically guarantee that you're going to you know make out good. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, here's the things that I took away from it. I, I watched it, you know, I paid attention stuff. I printed out a couple of pages here, and uh, you know, just for myself because uh, I want to see what these people have to offer. Anyway, so. Here's the thing, okay? 
You know, it reminds you of that book that Where's Waldo, right? I mean, sometimes it could be you could be staring a gifted horse in the face, and you know, you don't realize until later on, you know, what you, what you had or what you thought you had. But anyway, if you type in product research strategies on Google, these are things you should type in, and then read a little more into it. That's what I do. I'm very curious by nature. I like to learn and. I like to explore things, you know, enhance my ideas and stuff like that. And, you know, being a, curi being a curious person, you know, you can, curiosity, you know, I know they say curiosity killed the cat, right? <laughs> but, no, seriously, uh, I am very curious by nature. But, and what's, what's good about it is I like to know the ins and outs of how things work, the mechanics of things. You know, I, I, and that's the type of person I am. I like to learn. I always want to constantly learn. My retirement, when the time comes, I retire. Uh, where I'm like, you know, out of just retiring, which I don't plan to retire. I want to keep doing this business and keep making YouTubes until the, until the day I can't do it anymore. You know what I'm saying? I want to keep sharing information with you guys. I want to help in any which way I can. All right. Like I said, again, I don't have a book to sell you. I don't have a dream to sell you. And I don't have a dog in this fight. I am just doing my everyday thing and I want to share information with you guys. And the best way to do it is through my YouTube channel. And I hope, and I feel bad. Like I said, I'm, I'm you know, I, I'm, I'm looking at my subscriber base going up. It's creeping up there. I'm, I'm hoping one day I can reach a thousands or even millions of subscribers, and they like the content I put out, and they keep coming back for more. Because the more subscribers I get, it gives me the more of an incentive to keep producing more good content out there and putting it out for you guys. I want, I want you guys to succeed in business just as much as I want to succeed. Okay. And I don't mind taking the time out of my busy day to share this information. You know, sometimes it takes hours for me to do this stuff, folks. And I'm not looking for a pat on the shoulder to say, hey, Rich, you're doing a great job. I'm not looking for that. I don't want no notoriety that way. I want to help people out. I want to do it from the heart. I'm not looking to get any money from it. Although it would be nice if my YouTube channel could be monetized. That would be great. You know, maybe if I could join a Patreon, maybe some people could support my channel. If they did want to make contributions to it, you know, of course they like the content, but it's got to be genuine. You, you got to do it. If you, if I, if I got to that stage where people were to, you know, uh, make contributions to my website, whatever, my uh, YouTube channel, I want it to be genuine. I want it to come from your heart. That you honestly say, I like this guy. I like what he's putting out there. He's giving good information, stuff like that. I want it to come right from the heart. Okay. I, I don't want it, you know, I want, I want you to be genuine about it. But here's what I say. And I don't want to go too much into it, but but this is the takeaway I got from that webinar. Okay, and not bad, I'm not bad, but again, you know, I love when I say a free webinar. The webinar is free to attend, but when it comes to the end, the very end of it, that's when they throw the price at you. And this is over two grand, and I said, "There's no way." First off, I want to do my own research. The same way they learn through trial and error is the same way I'm going to learn. It's the same way you're going to learn. So my thing is, by me watching that webinar, I printed out some sheets, and I, you know, I'm going to do my own research. And you know what? When I get the time and I get this all, you know, uh, consolidated, I'm going to share that information with you guys. And people say, why would you want to share information? I don't. You're going to create more competition. Look, folks, there's enough competition out there. And for every person like me that, that, that produces videos, there's going to be millions of other people doing the same thing. YouTube is a very competitive field, just like eBay is or any of the selling sites. The thing is, standing out in the head of the pack, that's the hard part. It, you know, building a brand is very hard. But you know, like I said before in my other videos, don't, don't ever give up on your dreams. Remember, folks, you're going to cross this path once in life. That's it. And the sad thing about it is every second that goes by, minute, hour, day, week, month, year, you're never going to gain it back again. Use your time fruitfully. You know, be fruitful in your, in your thinking. Like, you know, if you've got free time, pursue your dreams. I try to tell my daughters, you know, I try to tell my kids, you know, when you have an idea of what you want to do in life, sort after it, go after it. 
And don't let nobody tell you you can never achieve it. You'll never be able to do this, that, and the other thing. Granted, you know, starting a business, you're not going to become a success overnight. Although there are some times you hear those stories of overnight success. Well, very far and few. It's like somebody, like a person like myself or a, 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 an inspiring YouTube creator wants to put a viral video out there. And the video goes viral. But again, you know, those things, again, will come far and few. How many people are going to create viral videos? You know, but don't give up on your dreams. That's why I say be the best you can and never give up. Because, like I said again, we're all going to cross this path once in life. And isn't it nice to say, well, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. And people may have, you may have naysayers that say, I think you're crazy. You're wasting your time with this here. But, you, you know, you're going, to always, you're going to have naysayers no matter what you do. <laughs> Seriously. You're going to have people telling you, I think you're crazy. Your idea is far off the line. What are you creating YouTube? Look at me. I'm going to create a, I'm creating this YouTube channel. I'm 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 pushing for a thousand videos. Now people say, what's the big deal? You get a thousand videos. It's just something I want to do. You know, it's like having a bucket list, you know, <laughs> so to speak, a bucket list. And uh that's that's I guess one of the things you want to call it, a bucket list, whatever, right? You know, that's one thing I want I want to achieve. I want to I want to achieve, you know. I've had a thousand, over a thousand videos. I, I I said in my other videos as a person, I got twenty four thousand videos. Another com another uh, news company has forty nine thousand videos. I mean, I'll never see that in my lifetime. I know I won't. There's no way I could produce that many videos and you know doing this. But these are news people, and they started years ahead of me. Okay, um, I just started getting heavily into this year in June of twenty sixteen. I lost my job, you know, due to a layoff. So I started getting more involved to it. That's why I'm up to go. It's gonna. I'm pushing a thousand videos because I had the time to do it. I didn't go back into the workforce because I said I've been. I went through two company layoffs and one company bankruptcy. I said, hey, let me throw my hat in the ring and see what I could do with YouTube and eBay. So I've been doing it ever since. So you know we're gonna see how it goes. But again, I want to share information with you guys. I want you to get a takeaway from it. I hope it's helpful. And, you know, I'm going to do the best I can to help you guys out. But the only way you're going to help yourself out is by you subscribing and coming back every now and then and checking. If you don't want to hit the bell notification on every now and then, you can check. Just If you're subscribed, I guess you'll still get a little thing there showing a video. I don't know how that works as far as that part goes. But I think with the bell notification icon, every time I pop a video out there, you guys will be notified. Now, I you know, hope you don't think I'm posting too many videos, but it is what it is. But anyway... Without skirting around everything, let me just share this information with you guys. Whatever takeaway you get from it, do your own research. Now, this is this is from a webinar I I seen on my YouTube channel, my video. I get enough of them. I'm sure you guys do too. And that's another thing I want to just leave you with you, with you guys. When you're going to these webinars with these people, <coughs> let me get a swig of water here. When you're going to these webinars, keep a pen and a pad with you. I know you could always, well, if it's a live webinar, you're not going to be able to do it, I guess, unless you record or you do a screen record. Keep a pen and paper with you and jot down notes. You know, sometimes you could read in between the lines what a person's saying and get a takeaway from that little tidbit of information, if you get my drift, Okay. Sometimes people, I'm not saying they give away the, they're giving away the, uh, the secret sauce, but if you read in between the lines, you can get a takeaway from those webinars. And you could apply it yourself, you know what I'm saying, to your own, to your own needs. Um, that's what I did. I, I did a, a snippet, I have a program, a snip, I think it's a snippet program. And every time at the end, they put up their sheets. So I just snipped it. Because I said it's going to be a live video, I'm going to go back to it again. Unless you want to watch the whole thing all over again, and I don't want to do that. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I got, I don't want, I don't have the time for that. So what I did is I would snip the pictures, you know, of the things I want. My own personal use. I'm not. That's why I'm not posting it out. And I'm not telling you where I got it from. <clears throat> but anyway, keep a notepad with you, and jot down notes, and read in between the lines, so to speak. 
And sometimes when you get that information, when you hear and you're listening, pay very close attention to what they're talking about, you can get a takeaway from it. Okay? So here's the takeaways I got, well, the information I need to do the research on for myself. And again, if I do the comparison research, what was in the webinar and what I found, I'll share it with you guys. It's going to take time. It's, you know, it's a lot of research, but I'm not going to do it right now. But I'm going to share it with you. But anyway, here's what you get at the end of the, at the, end of the webinar. And again, I'm not mentioning names. You're going to learn product research, uh, product research strategies. Now, if you type in on Google everything I'm telling you, like if you did Google uh, product research strategies, you're going to get information from there. Okay, These are things, what I'm telling you, these are things you might want to type in on do a Google search. Shipping and supply negotiation blueprint. You type that again on Google, you're going to get that information. Optimization and ranking hacks. Same thing. Blueprint to skyrocketing sales. Same thing. Type in manufacturer's templates. Template. Uh, also, what's the other thing I got here? All right, the manufacturer, okay. Um, type in, for Google search, type in top 50 hottest, yeah, top 50 hottest products to sell on Amazon in 2019. Again, type that in on Google to get the information. Um, there's other companies to check out. These are one of their bonuses. Product discovery. Go to Zon, Z-O-N, keywords, right? And there's another one called page one i fi whatever. And if you type in the information for that, it'll bring you to those websites. And you're, most likely, you're going to have to sign up with them and pay, I guess. Me, I like to do everything on the free. Just telling you. Uh... Advanced fake Facebook ads. Do a Google on it. Google search. Messenger bots. Again, type in Google Messenger bots. Read up on it. Read what the Messenger bots are all about. And basically, uh, that's basically it from what I see here. Um, yeah. Uh, that's what I would do. That's what I'm going to do. And um, I, I think I think by giving that little information of that little in-between information, they might say, but you, all you're doing is giving us information about this. What do you think you're going to get? What do you think if you go to these things, you pay these things, what do you think you're going to get? They're going to pull that information off of somewhere. They're going to get it from somewhere. I gave you information from a, a magazine I got. Now, I could read through stuff like this here, right? And I could learn from it. And I can come up and say, I'm going to give you, I got a booklet or a book or a program on how to create private labels. I could do it in a Word, Microsoft Word format, whatever. Uh, presentation, what do you call it? Uh, Microsoft Word presentation, PowerPoint presentation. And I could sell that book, I don't know, $9.99, whatever, plus shipping or whatever. I'm gonna, if it's gonna, unless it's going to be an e-book, then I could do it on Amazon, Kindle, whatever. You know, th there's so many ways to, you know, do things, alternative ways to do things to save money. Remember one thing. And I want to say this to you, and again, you know, I don't want you guys to think I'm, I'm not saying this stuff in a bad way, in a demenial way, really. I, I really ain't. I, I'm trying to help people out. But, you know, there are so many people out there, good, 
YouTube creators out there. Sharing some of their secrets. They have programs too. How to gain subscribers. How to become higher in uh, recommended searches on YouTube and whatever. And, and you, you listen to what other people are saying without even going to their webinars or whatever. And it's basically all common sense. You're going to learn through trial and error. And that's the best way to learn. Remember OJT? Was it on the job training? OJT, on the job training? That's the best way to learn, folks. Um, but the thing is, in life, um, when I hear people telling you or trying to share information, and listen, and again, I am not saying this in a bad way, folks. Please don't take it the wrong way. I'm not bad mouthing anybody or saying anything in a bad way. But when it comes to creating a YouTube channel, you have an expression, be yourself or you're going to be by yourself. Be natural. What I got, the takeaways I got from listening to other YouTubers, successful ones, not a little guy like me, would have, you know, I have a small little YouTube channel, but it's okay. It's getting there. Um, they'll tell you one of the most important things over and over again, because I listen to different people. Your thumbnails and your titles are very important on YouTube. Now, my thumbnails, when it comes to reseller news, you got the spinning globe and it's got, you know, reseller news with Rich Bassini. Some people say, again, if you follow some of the YouTube guys, they'll say, well, it's nice to put a picture there. Uh, you know, have, it, have the wording there, like, you know, maybe bold wording, but you can't only do so much because it's a little, it's a little thumb, thumbnail. You can only put so much in. It's like putting... You know, as I put, what is that, that old saying, uh, two pounds of bologna and a one pound bagel. You can only put so much in that little thumbnail. But that's the eye catcher. That's the eye opener. That's how I, when I want to look at certain things on YouTube, that's the first things I look for. The thumbnail. The thumbnail is like an introductory. You know, you have an introductory thing there and, you know, people will see it and they'll say, hey, I'm going to. You know, you'll, you'll go there it'll, it'll inspire you to click on that video now how many minutes you watch of it is a whole other story you may watch the first minute or so and say this is boring I'm done you know it's and it's also holding the uh, the uh, potential subscribers attention do they want to come back to your YouTube channel do they like what you're putting out or is it good is it good information you're putting out or are you just blurring out things off the top of your head just to make a YouTube video. That's not what my YouTube video is all about, my channel. I'm not here to sit here and can draw up these things to just make videos. Now, I know people may say, well, that sounds like a contradiction because you're talking about making a thousand. Yeah, I want to make a thousand videos. That's right. But it's going to be a thousand videos with good content, though. Okay? I, I'm gonna, I'm, I want to do that. That's one of my goals. I figure if I can't reach the thousand subscribers, I know I could definitely reach a thousand, hit the thousand mark on my YouTube video, my my videos. I know I could do that. But again, you know, you could have fifty thousand videos, and if no one's going to watch them, they're not interested, and it doesn't make a difference. So people may say, well, maybe it doesn't make a difference for you then, if you get, you know, thousands of uh, videos out there, and you might not get that many people watching your videos. It may not. I don't know. But I'm not giving up, and I don't. And I advise people not to give up. You know, if you got a dream, you got a goal in life. Like I said earlier, pursue it. What do you got to lose? What do you got to lose, folks? YouTube is a big platform. There's millions of people. I don't know millions or maybe billions. Of, I don't know how many people are on. I never did the statistics on it, but. They're con I know they're constantly uploading videos every day. They're putting a lot of videos out. People just like you and I are putting stuff out every day. So, you know, don't don't fall short of yourself, folks. Seriously. You know, I mean, I want to see people succeed. And I do want and I want to succeed too. And if I can, by some miracle, make this YouTube channel grow something big, you know, into a big channel where I get millions of subscribers or thousands of millions of subscribers. That would be great. 
and it's not only for the question of saying like well you got that many subscribers now what it's it's to know that you're putting a lot you, you, you that's that much that's how much audience you have that you're putting you're sharing information with you know what I'm saying it's it's it's, it's what it's all about that's what my YouTube channel is all about to help inspire and share and if I could help people out that way I'm gonna keep doing it folks but I just want to say this in closing this YouTube channel for all intents purposes is going to be a channel where I want people to come to it oh well I'd love you to come to it if you choose to but I want you to, I would like you to also get a takeaway from it when I put videos out there how to's or if I'm sharing stuff I want you guys to get get a takeaway from it I want you to go test your own stuff with it like if I give you stuff like and I'm showing you how to do certain things and let's say I'm, for example I use Filmora 8.76 version to create my my videos right I use that exclusively along with power direct cyberlink power director 14 I use them in conjunction with one another but right now my go-to uh, software I fell in love with it was Filmora now Filmora's got the, the Filmora 9 version but if I put a if I do a video like that on tips and tricks on how to use Filmora I would hope you guys would say, hey, you know what? I use Filmora. Or I'm thinking about getting Filmora. Now, I have no affiliate links with them whatsoever. Okay? Um, so, for me, the only affiliation I have is by using their software. And I did download Filmora 9. I have, I, right now, I use 8.76. But I, do, I did download the, 8 point, uh, the 9.2 version. That's the new one they came out with. I love it. I love both of them. I also love CyberLink PowerDirector 14. But, you know, if I show you guys how to use that there, like how to do certain things, and you are thinking about it, or maybe you do have Filmora, hopefully you can use it for your benefit. Like I said again, I, I'm not making any money off of this. My YouTube channel is not monetized. And for those who know anything about it, well, you're on YouTube, but I'm sure you probably heard about it. In order to your, for your YouTube channel to get monetized, you have to have at least 1,000 subscribers. And 4,000 oh, 4, hours of watch time. Well, I think I passed that up for a long time ago. But that's what you have to have in order in, in order to get Patreon and so on. It's, uh, Super Chat and all that. I can't apply for that because I don't have that many subscribers. But the ones I do have, thank you so much. And I do hope that you'll be like part of the family and you'll stick with me. You know, I hope, I hope, hope by you, maybe by, by the subscribers I have... Uh, they'll like, comment, and share with other people and say, hey, this guy's a good guy, he's a decent guy, he shares, he shares tips on or information about online selling or whatever. You know? So, I mean, I, I want to I wanna make this channel grow. And yeah, with, with, with the channel, with the big channel, it does have its little perks and rewards, but I can't, you know, if I get, if I get a couple subscribers, I lose a couple subscribers, but I really want to help people out, though. And you know what? No matter what, if my channel never grows that big, at least I could say something. At least I could say, well, you know what? I, do, I did it with all good intentions. And I'm going to keep doing it until I can. So that's why I hope you guys, you know, hope you, you'll, you'll come back for more and you do like my content. I hope you like me as a person. I'm a nice person off camera as I am on camera. The way you see me here is the way you'd see me in the street. If I was a celebrity, an actor, or a movie star, or whatever, I'd be the same way. I'm, I'm a down-to-earth person. I I tell it like it is when it when I need to tell it like it is. I do. I if there's that there's something that's bothering me with eBay or whatever. Or, um, I will share it with you and tell you, hey, you know, this is what's going on. I don't like what's going. On. People who follow me know that I don't sugarcoat anything. I tell it like it is. And uh, if you want to hear the straight talk, that's that's I'm the guy you're gonna listen to, you know, on this channel. I'm gonna I'm the one that 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 is this channel. I do, you know, keep this channel. I'm the one that's maintains the functionality of it. I put out the the, the content. I I'm the one who decides what content is going. I don't have any script writers or people coaching me on how what to do. But I will say this much though, in regards to um, growing this YouTube channel. I have to honestly say, um, it's growing organically, and that's a good thing. And that's not only is a good thing; it's a great thing, because by me doing what I'm doing and getting the subscribers to subscribe to my channel, 
by not going through jumping through hoops and chat you know and all that stuff there uh, it, that that makes it all worthwhile do you know when i see i get subscribers whenever i get them it makes me happy it really gives me an incentive to say you know what i'm going to do more i'm going to keep doing more i'm going to put up more content good content i want to do a lot for this channel this is my channel it represents me i'm the i'm the one behind that 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 webcam up there sharing this information with you guys and i'm going to do whatever i can i'm going to make this channel better and better as i go along i'm still learning how to use my video editing software still learning little techniques and trips tips and tricks on how to use it <laughs> and uh if you are a filmora person i may do a video on filmora telling you how i do certain things with it i have i how i do special effects or whatever i might share that I, 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 I will share information with you i am nothing to hide when it comes to i want that's what i'm saying i want to help it's help inspire and share that's what this youtube channel is all about anyway guys it's getting near lunchtime actually it's going on 1 30 over here believe it in new york time over here i'm in the east coast and uh we had a heavy crazy weather yesterday it was heavy downpour I mean, it was raining like that for a good, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes or whatever, and then the clouds broke through, the sun came out. A lot of bizarre weather. Um, I think we're supposed to have more showers again later on. Uh, so, you know, I want to try to do things. That, you know, I, I, all I'm saying is I, I never seen time go so fast. I mean, you get up at 7 o'clock in the morning, it's already past, it's afternoon already. It's, it's one going on 1.30. <laughs> so, you know, time does fly around here. It's that saying time flies when you're having fun. The only thing is, though, creating these videos takes a long time to create and to put out there. Anyway, guys, enjoy your day. I'm wishing all of you guys out there who are sellers on any of these platforms, eBay, Amazon, Etsy, Macari, whatever, Poshmark, I'm wishing you all the best in sales outside of myself. And uh, I hope you keep coming back for more, folks. I hope you keep coming back for more. I do hope you, you do get a takeaway from my videos. My name is Rich Bassini. If you're watching Reseller News, have a great day. Until next time, bye-bye now.